I always say, boy, him, God man destroy my life before me even get a chance to dream what I would have liked to become. I got shot from 1998 when I was in Kingston, spent some time with my brothers up there. I was actually I was living down here with my granny because she raised me for my 10 months old my mother gave me to her so I have some brother living in Kingston so she sent me up here to go spend some time with them up there till I start going to school and them something here yeah. and I was going to all age school and just as I graduate July from all age school I get shot December gunman shoot me come shoot up another community and not my community I get shot from you know it's another community where I went to look for a friend because I used to work at a cook shop. So this, this year, when time, we don't go to work, we just go up a few places, we sit down on the roadside and laugh and talk like teenagers do, you know? Run up and down. Even though I mentioned it even in my book, I write. Because I write a book yeah. and I really, uh, well, look, I reach away now, uh, far away now, you know, but I need somebody to kind of help me <laughs> to finish it, you know? So I'm not glad, I'm not glad if we even get somebody who can help me finish the book and everything here. To tell you the truth, you know, life um, it hard sometimes, you know, to be honest, because sometimes, even what happened to me, sometimes it won't break me away, but I fight against it sometimes, you know, because if you lose your mobility to walk at such a tender age, it really affects, enough people say, Kevin, I don't know what you do it, you know, because at 22 years you now you get shot and you still have PC and we are laughing, mm -hmm. but... I always tell people say when you can accept reality in life, you will live. But when you live in denial, you will have problems. He's a very nice person. Nice. Oh and he loves to counsel people a lot. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's very nice. My father is in Kingston. He drives a taxi, but he doesn't really care much. You know? And my mother. My mother, um, a couple of years now, I get contact back with my mother. Because it wasn't, yes, I was living before, you know. I was living down at the bottom now, yes, so. Where our family member where really make up our house down there, but he just start have some family issues. He starts, and um, I, even some people help me to get right here, so where I'm living right now. I help for Kevin. Mm -hmm. I recover here, I look after Granny. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I cook for them, I do washing, everything. Yeah, I'm a cook man. I'm a, I used to use to wash it. Mm -hmm. Right here, so. I see my wash, but I really like when the water has spilled, like, gone, I need the bed and so forth. So, you know, when the water is seen, I need to bed, it kind of have a smell. So, I really like it. So, I see, like, him tired on them somewhere, so I try to stick it away from him. But him said, I feel a product of him, so I just start doing it myself. I always say, boy. Um, God man destroyed my life before me even get a chance to dream what me would have liked to become. You understand? But right now, I kind of have an optimism that I still can make something out of life. That's why I even try to push it a book and see if I can, can get some. Because I can even read a page out of book too. It's named True Pain, A Real Life Story. 1998, a hero that lives with me and one that can never be forgotten. And it can never go away. It is a year that I will always remember. For it changes my entire life forever. And it all started one evening. When me and two of my little friends went to look for another friend. Like we always do when I'm not working or on a Sunday evening. It is somewhere that we would go to all the while and hang out with our friends. We would sit on the roadside at his gate and laugh and talk like teenagers do. But on that very evening, a day in December, something has happened that would change my life forever. And from that moment, it would never, ever be the same. For while we were there laughing and talking, when all of a sudden, the arrows of the guns that terrifies the land of believing and bring it forth destruction and death come calling in the evening. You could hear them, the guns, as they exalted themselves Echoing near and far, they have come to take out one of the brightest stars. But my God was right there with me, he was not far. So when the gunshot started to run out, bam, 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 people started to run in all directions. That's when I turned to leave. And while I am running down the road, 
before reality could kick in, I find myself on the ground. But instantly, I noticed that something is terrible, terrible wrong with me, for my feet is unable to move. That's when I realized that I've been shot. A bullet has pierced right through my back.